everyone, how's it going? And wow, this update has been long overdue. I was supposed to be doing this like back when Blair, you know, went down, but yeah, better than late than ever. But yeah, this is a little update on what I've been doing lately. All right, so starting with Blair, yeah, that, yeah, that burned, uh, that burned down pretty badly. And unfortunately, all the videos that were uploaded to Blair were pretty much gone, you know, unless, you know, the people that made the videos saved them on their drives. Luckily for me, that was the case for most of my reviews, well, except for the Black Sad review, but I also had it on YouTube, so it's still safe there. Now, if you recall, I did say I want to do some stuff to separate my Blair account with my YouTube account. Well, obviously that ain't going anywhere, so pretty much all the stuff I plan to do on Blair will wind up on YouTube, though probably not on that big of a degree since, well, to simply put it, I've been really busy lately. Besides the stuff I'm doing on YouTube and also my classwork, I'm also doing some personal projects, as I mentioned many times before. I've been doing stuff on Amateur Masters, which granted, we've unfortunately had to take a uh, very long hiatus because of personal reasons. We are trying to get back on track on there. Besides that, I've also joined Rented Coffin. Rented Coffin being this new independent studio where we are going to try to make an animated series. I can't really divulge on what the series is about, but I'm one of the writers on the pilot, with the creator of the series being Ruins. Ruins, you might recall, being the guy that kicked me out of the white room in the Black Sad video. I've had tons of fun working on the pilot with Ruins and all the other writers, and uh, I really hope that you enjoy it once the project is finished. Besides that, I've also been showing up on the Another Dream podcast, done by, once again, Ruins, but also Techno Cinema, who also creates the series Avastera. Avastera is a really good series, and I do recommend recommend checking it out. Uh, at first, I was a little hesitant to check it out because I'm not the biggest Minecraft fan, but this is a series where you do not need to be a fan of Minecraft to enjoy it. The story is great, the animation is well done, Tech does all the animation like on his own for most of it, and the voice acting, superb. So yeah, I highly recommend checking out Avastera. I will put a link in the description for the Noise Room channel, which Avastera and the Noise Room podcast is on, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Now, like my other updates, I'm going to talk about some less known comics. JLA, JSA, Vice and Virtue. I decided to talk about this one because though more people are talking about it now, it, it's very slow. Um, this is, as you can tell, a crossover between JLA and JSA. And I think it's also appropriate because uh, this actually does take place on, uh, take place, sorry, on Thanksgiving. Uh, the story is uh, pretty interesting. Essentially, we have uh, members of the JSA and the JLA get possessed by the seven deadly sins, or the seven enemies of man, as uh, they were called at the time. And uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I will say how some of the sins play off, I think were a little bit obvious, and some were kind of interesting uh, takes on which ones got what. The only one that I was like really being like, okay, how does that make sense, was who got gluttony. Yeah, besides that, uh, it's a pretty good book. I might review at some point, but yeah, uh, for now, I just highly recommend it. Now, here's a list of comics that I'll be reviewing this month and next month. 